Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Kiva, artist, producer, and Ableton certified trainer. I'm here today with Pyramine to demonstrate Ableton's Slice to New MIDI feature. Now, this feature is not a new feature. It's been around for quite some time, but it's still a very cool technique that you can use to chop up beats and samples to make some really interesting things happen in your music. So today, I've got a piece of music that I actually wrote back in the day um, this song is called Walking Broken Shade, and this is how it sounded as performed with a nine-piece live band. We're going to use a little bit of this to chop up like our sample. Go ahead and stop it right there. So I really like that section with the horns in there. I've already warped this song. If you're brand new to Ableton and you haven't already learned to warp, there's plenty of other videos that explain how to do that. So I'm not going to cover that right now. Um, I already have this song warped though. So I'm going to go ahead and loop up the portion that I want. And now since I don't need this entire song, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to select crop sample and crop this down to just the part that I want to hear. There it is. I'm going to right click on the clip. And when I right click, I get this pop up menu. If you look down here towards the middle, you're going to see this option right here. This is what we want. Slice to new MIDI track. We'll select that and it gives us the following options. Now it has a lot of different options that you can choose from. You can look here where it says create one slice per and you have a lot of different options. You can set this thing to make a slice for each warp marker, each transient. But I'm going to go ahead and select quarter note in this case for the slicing preset. Again, there's a lot of different presets that they've given you here for this demonstration. I'm going to use one that's called built in zero velocity. And then lastly, where it says preserve the warp timing, I'm going to put that on. This is going to allow us to change the tempo faster or slower than the original if we need to. So I'm going to hit OK. And Ableton takes a moment to process it. And now if you look, it created a drum rack and it chopped up that phrase into little slices. Each one of these is part of the song. I'm going to go ahead and stop the original audio. If I double click on the clip that was created, you're going to see that it actually has an all step sequence so that if I press play on this clip, it should play the original sequence pretty much exactly the same as we heard it before. Now here's where the fun begins. I'm going to take this clip. I'll duplicate the original here and I'm just going to rearrange some of these slices. I'll shorten up the loop and I'm just going to start moving some of these slices around. And you can just get creative and play around with the placement and make whole new patterns out of the original. I'll shorten it up even more. And you can make all kinds of variations. Now I prepared some stuff ahead of time. I went and changed the tempo down to 95 and because we chose that preserve warping, it's going to keep everything at the new tempo. And I just went and made a bunch of different patterns with those slices. Here's a couple other patterns right here. Some of them are short, some are long. Another thing I like to do sometimes is to put a few effects on things just to sweeten up the sound a little bit. I put, um, I put a little bit of EQ on this and added just a little bit of reverb to sweeten it up, but you can really go crazy with that as well. You could put filters, distortion, whatever you feel. Once I come up with some interesting patterns, I can then go and create new drums. I can add bass lines. I can add anything that I think will make the song sound good. So ahead of time, I went ahead and just sequenced a little beat to complement some of these patterns. 
Let's check it out, Brooklyn style. Let's go. So yeah, that's just a quick introduction to Ableton's sliced new MIDI feature. Like I said, this is not a new feature, something that's been around for a while. But if you're someone that's new to producing with Ableton and you're looking for some really exciting ways that you could slice up some of your samples and beats to create new patterns, this is definitely something worth checking out. It's great for doing hip hop, jungle, drum and bass, trap, you name it. Um, it's really just limited by your creativity. So thanks for checking out this tutorial today. If you're interested in learning with me, I'm available for private one-on-one -on -one lessons through the Pyramind Mentorship Program. Just visit their website, pyramind.com to learn more. Thanks a lot, take care. Are you looking for production guidance and direct feedback on your tracks? Do you want one-on-one -on -one help with a mix, music theory, production, or creative workflow? Then book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship session today with one of our knowledgeable industry professionals at Pyramine.com.